Hey everybody, I'm Slavin Atorsky and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, you know what to expect. If you've not been here, I hope that you enjoy what you see. We like to go over different firearms, give you my opinion on them, give an up close look, and just in general uh, play with them and see if you guys want to buy them or not. Hopefully this video helps in your decision. Getting straight to it. I have another SAR for you today. This one is the SAR 9X. So we've already had the SAR 9. This is the upgraded version, the SAR 9X for extreme. Ah, if you're in the 90s, you know why that's funny to me. All right, here is the case that it comes in. Nice plastic case, big case too. I have my SAR 9 here for comparison features. That's the difference in the size of the case. So it gives you an idea of what you're getting. Let's open her up and take a look. So right away you'll notice there's a few different things in here that are a little bit different. You get your SAR 9 book, which it's pretty much the same book you get in the other one. Uh, full color photos, very well done book. I like that they have these. Uh, let's see, looks like there is a update. Owner's manual addendum for SAR 9X. There is not a battery included for some shipping regulations. The battery is a CR123, so at least they put something in there to let you know. You get your squeegee brush. You get a nice cloth brush. What else do we have in here? This is the punch in order to get the grips off because you can replace the side and rear grips. You have a magazine loader that is SAR branded. It's kind of cool. I like how everything has its place on here. You get, it looks like, two sets of rear panels. and three sets of side panels. So either I'm missing, or actually, I'm sorry, three sets of rear panels. I was thinking these come in pairs for some reason. Three sets of rear panels. So the one, two, third one's on here. Three sets of side panels. There's two in the bag and one on the firearm. It comes with a holster with the Allen wrench that you need in order to put the holster together. So it's a nice uh, little paddle holster. This one will hold two magazines. See how it goes on your side like that. Magazines drop right in, that's pretty cool. And then the actual holster itself is on the firearm. As you can see here, very good retention push the button and this slides right out. We'll get the firearm in a second. Holster has a bunch of different positions. So however you want to put it, you can. So you get both a magazine and pistol holster with it. Not a bad deal. And let's see what it looks like with both. Not bad. I like it. I don't know if there's a certain way these go in there, but they're definitely snug. But let's get those out and put that back. For now, you get your Allen key for the actual holster itself to put it together as well. Allen key, Allen wrench. One of those two terms. Put that out to the side. Your firearm comes with all this stuff, two magazines. And it looks like one is an extended magazine. So we'll actually test that and see how many rounds we can fit in there. Because it has the drop down in there. The extended uh, butt plate. But, oh, I almost forgot. It also comes with a light. You do get a tack light to put on there. Uh, there is no branding on it that I can see. So it might just be a cheapo track tack light. But that would actually go right on. Let's see. So it's quick release. It says it's quick release. There we go. 
so it goes right on there like that so you have a tack light included with the firearm that's pretty cool it's a little difficult to put on and off full disclosure I have not put that on or off there before all right put that back in the bag for now because there is not a battery included and I don't have any extra CR123 batteries all right, let's get the, actually we're gonna save these and get everything else out of the way. But here's the pistol itself. As you can see, it has a very different color than the other SAR-9, since it is the SAR-9X. And there's some differences in the slide even. But we'll get to all that in a minute. But for now, we're gonna take a small break and we'll be right back and I'll get everything set up on the table for you. All right, we are back. So I wanted to show off some of the features of the SAR 9X, as well as a comparison with a couple other firearms that I think everybody will enjoy. So going through, we already know it's unloaded. Now, with this, you have this nice platinum Cerakote it looks great. I honestly enjoy it. Uh, you will see that it does have the SAR 9X engraved on the slide, which differentiates it from the SAR 9. You see the difference there. Let me put that back. Everything is unloaded. Okay, so you, the biggest thing you notice right off the break is you have these cuts in the slide, lowering the weight and adding to it aesthetically. The slides, cuts are still easily to grab, or easily grabbable. So if you want to do press checks, you can. You want to charge back, rear, however you want to charge it, you're able to. All people are included. You have ambidextrous manual safety, works on both sides, and it disengages the, tr the trigger You'll also see the trigger has a blade safety on there. We went over blade safeties on the triggers in the last video for the SAR-9. So if you want to see a little bit more detail on that in our explanation, hop in, in that video and take a look. You have a full rail on the front for all your optics, lasers, and bayonets, baby chainsaws, you know, things like that. The front of the trigger guard also has serrations. So that way, if you're an old school shooter and you like putting a finger on the front of the trigger, which I do, you can. Uh, the magazine release is not ambidextrous. It's only on one side, but you can switch it to go to either side. As I mentioned before, side plates, rear plate are removable to customize to your liking. The sights are very nice, large white dots. I like that. It's easy to see. Very easy to get a hold of. And the serrations on the back here help with any glare. All in all, a great firearm. This is the uh, takedown. Uh, I don't know what you call that slide button. Something along those lines right here. It's not really a button, not a lever. But that's the takedown portion of the firearm there. But great firearm. And I did confirm the magazine that comes with this. You get two of them, 17 rounder and a 17 plus two. So a 19 and a 17 rounder with this firearm. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead and go into the comparison between the original SAR. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention on the 9X. This does have cutouts to put an optic on top if you wanted to. So if you want to put a little red dot on there, you could. Pretty cool. All in a very compact package for the same price as a Glock brand new out the door this you get all the upgrades you would spend on a Glock to make it almost a thousand dollars and you get this which is around 500 half the price all the upgrades included yeah <laughs> I'm pretty sold on it and I just realized I didn't show you guys the trigger on this so let's go ahead and show the trigger and I will shut up so you can hear See where it broke? You had a little wall 
And then the second wall, do the reset. Resets right there, just like the SAR-9, it's right at the edge of that triangle. So you have first wall, second wall, and that second wall is very, very brisk. You get right past it, reset, right there. Yeah, there we go. So pretty cool. And the uh, safety does disengage the trigger. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, back to the comparisons. They are pretty much the same pistol for the most part, minus the obvious Cerakote. Same size, almost the same weight. You have the cuts in this one, it makes it a little smaller. Same shape, same design, same back panels. Not much of a difference there. And even on the side, you'll see mainly the front serrations are the biggest part and the naming conventions on it. So all in all, these are pretty much the same firearms. So I think they're definitely worth taking a look into and, take, and um, seeing whether or not you like them. But we're gonna take a short break, come back, and I'm gonna show you another comparison on these that I think you'll enjoy. We'll be right back. All right, so you see in front of us here, we have a scale that I picked up from Amazon. I know I've said that in all my videos. Bear with me, I'm probably gonna say it a few times till I get used to actually having it. It's a new portion of the uh, review channel that I've been wanting to add for a little bit. Uh, so what we're gonna do is take the SAR 9X, show you the weight of it unloaded, loaded with the 17 round magazine, and loaded with the 19 round magazine with the extension on it. So you have an idea what it'll weigh if you wanna carry it. So, we have the SAR 9X unloaded, nothing in the chamber. Put it on the scale one pound 8.6 ounces so that's all by itself now we're going to take the 17 round magazine load it up we are looking at two pounds and three ounces even loaded up with the 17 round magazine so we'll take that out and now we're going to put in the extended 19 round magazine and we are looking at two pounds, 4.1 ounces with the extended magazine inserted. So just for giggles, let's, let's weigh the magazines fully loaded. So you have a 17 round magazine. By itself, it's 10.4 ounces. 19 round extended magazine is 11.6 ounces. Do with that information what you will. I thought it'd be kind of cool to weigh both of them just to see the difference and kind of where the weight is on the magazines too, in case you want to carry some extra on a belt clip. But we'll go ahead and get on to the next part of this review. All right, so the comparison I'm gonna make is the same one from the SAR 9 video. Um, I wanna make it in this one video as well. So I wanna make it very clear, the interesting comparison here. This is my HK P30SK. This, excuse me, I had to burp. Uh, this has been my carry gun for a little over a year now, I'd say. This is the SAR-9X. Do you see how the influences from the HK influence that grip? I mean, there is, around the magwell hill, there's magwell, this raises up and this is flush. You do have the cutouts to pull the magazines out in case it's stuck, but those grips, are definitely influenced from the P30 series and the BP9 series. But I just thought that would be an interesting thing to show as far as this firearm goes with the comparisons. Uh, the only other difference between this one and the regular SAR-9, I would say, is the magazine extension and all the accessories that come with it. Other than that, if we're just talking the firearm, again, differences, Cerakote, the front serrations and the slide cuts as well as it has been drilled to accept various red dots. Other than that, that's the only real difference. So I thought that'd be an interesting comparison to make. Uh, I'm going to clear the board here and we'll come back and I'll show you the disassembly of it and how that works. All right, we're back. So I want to show disassembly. It's exactly the same as the SAR-9 video, so if you've seen that, you know what you're in for here. 
Uh, nice thing is you do not have to pull the trigger on this in order to disassemble it, which is a nice safety feature. I almost did it without even saying. So what I do, I grip it like I'm going to shoot, rotate hand up, it's very similar to a Glock, any other firearms like that that you've shot. You're going to pull down the release brake here, the release catch, and pull it apart. That's it. You do not have to pull the trigger. So let's take a look inside the guts. You'll see this thing has been Cerakoted through and through, outside and inside. On top, you have a dual recoil spring assembly. Here's your barrel. Looks an awful lot like a Glock barrel, doesn't it? And you'll see where the Cerakote goes. It does not go all the way on the inside here. So that's your difference. There's your striker assembly. As usual, I do not pull that apart because I don't really get in there and clean that unless it's super, super cruddy. To put it back together, just reverse the process we did a second ago. Put everything in that way. Oh. Got some crud in there. I just realized I left my fan on for this portion of the video. I apologize. I'll have it turned off for the next portions. And then it goes right onto the slide rails. Pull it back. Charge it, that's it, good to go. Does not come back off. Super easy, super simple. I really like it and I really enjoy it. This is a good pistol. Um, it is a Turkish import, but I honestly believe this is a good contender for the Glocks, especially at the price point. It's comparable to a Glock. It has all the upgrades that you would have to buy separately from a Glock, which would make it even more expensive. Not bad. And most of the reviews I've seen on these are great. And honestly, with the grip, it's a little bit of an HK VP9 contender too, I'd say. <laughs> and I love HK, so that's saying something. But um, the panels are, you can replace the panels here, the rear and the sides. Let me turn off that fan, I'm sorry. I'm being selfish. You can replace the side and rear panels, as I said before. Um, if you want to see how that's done, if you go into um, the original SAR 9 review, that will actually I'll actually show how that works. Which you just punch this little pin out here and replace all of these to your liking. You have three different options. But that's all I have for today on this pistol. I just wanted to show it off and uh, yeah, kind of show you what the upgrade to the regular SAR 9 looks like. It's it's a pretty sexy looking little pistol if you ask me. What? That's it. Um, what do you guys out there think? Does anyone else have this and they like it? I'm going to try to get this in a range and I'll do some follow-up footage of me shooting it. I'll get a battery for the tack light. We'll test that out and go through all that in a follow-up. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Do you want to see more of these? Do you want to see less? Do you not like them? Do you hate them? Do you have any suggestions for other firearms I should try? Because I would, I'm always looking for something new to play with. Let me know all of that down in the comment section. If you liked the video, give it a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of this and yeah we'll go from there but that's all i had for today i hope everyone out there has a great one stay safe and we'll see you again in the next video